guys, it's Adam here in Northern Tech, and today we're doing yet another freaking unboxing video. Holy shit on a shingle, eh? But today we're unboxing the D-Link Wireless N Camera. That's right. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and see what the what is. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the D-Link. The model number is the DCS 930L. I picked this thing up at that same fire sale I got the headphones from, uh, factory outlet. I picked it up for 30 bucks. Wireless camera will go on your computer, your phone, and yes, people, I do believe it supports Android. So right there, it's got uh, easy do-it-yourself installation. 11N wireless connectivity, so it's not G, wireless G, it's wireless N. Nice. And instant notification via email. That's kind of neat. On the side here, just basically tells you the features. So remote monitor your home, one lux for low light sensitivity, four times digital zoom for up close viewing, wireless end connectivity, has a microphone so it will capture sound, support for motion JPEG, motion detection trigger, iPhone, iPad, and Android apps, remote viewing, there you go. MyDlink.com for portal for easy view management, administrator user password protection, universal plug and play and network setup configuration, uh, 802.11 N and G compliant, and it does support the WPS push button for easy network setup. 24-7 basic installation support and a one-year warranty. Three easy step. Unpack contents. Insert CD. Run wizard. Done. You know, one of those. Don't even have to plug it in apparently. Does it just says unpack contents, insert CD, and run wizard. Okay, honestly people, when you're putting instructions like this on the box, uh, there better be something inside that goes between unpack contents and insert CD, because there's a lot of stupid people in the world that will think that's all it takes. So, all right, let's cut into this thing. Get this stupid cellophane off of her. Get off my camera. Mainly what I wanted something like this for was to watch the dog when I'm at work to see exactly what he does during the day when I'm not here. So, it looks like the box opens from up here. Go we'll ahead and peel that open to reveal yet another box. Ew, ah, ugh. Holy shit, that's a lot bigger than I thought. That's what she said. I'm awesome. Okay, so there is a start here. Phew. Oh, it's just a CD. Nobody's gonna read the D-Link GPL code statement. They're gonna just go with the CD. Son of a bitch. Anyway, we'll do that after. Inside the box, we get the camera. We'll look at that in a minute. You also get a very short cable that you'll probably use once just to set the camera up, and after that, you'll never use it again unless you need this to for power. Nope, judging by... Okay, so they give you some wall mounts here if you want to mount it to the wall. And your... Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. Anyway, they look the same. What's the operating uh, on this thing here? This thing here runs at five volts, 1.2 amps. Almost USB compatible. Oh well. So it looks like it's just a standard plug-in. And let's take the camera out of the box. Back out of the box and out of the bag. Okay, so here's the camera, very basic. Got your lens, doesn't say what the megapixels are on the lens. It just says it's a lens. I'm assuming this thing is gonna shoot 640 by 480. That's gotta be the light sensor on the bottom or the motion detector, one of the two. On the base, just your standard base with screw locking so you can stick it to a wall or whatever. On the back here, your power connector and your uh, freaking RJ45 network. And it looks like, uh, nope. Ah. There we go. So you can twist this, and this comes off, and God knows what that does. Nothing. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this thing up. I'm going to use my computer in the uh, same room that I do all my video game plays. So let's go up there and see what we can do. All right, guys. Hopefully you can hear me loud and clear. Um, I just fired up the camera. Um, you can't see that because you're looking at my screen. I'm going to go ahead and try this uh, add wireless device with WPS and it says please select the option for the wireless. Okay, we'll go to auto, hit next and what? Uh, please press, okay, if you're, okay, we'll do this. I just press the button. And we'll see if this thing actually detects it. Oh, light turned green on the front, so that's got to be a good sign. And it's on. Okay, so we got the camera attached. Now, I haven't installed the CD yet, but I'll be right back and we'll get that done. Okay, guys, I got this somewhat set up. Somewhat set up. And, um, and um, sorry that you're hearing an echo. Sorry that you're hearing an echo. But uh, it's good to go. But uh, it's good to go. 
Fuck, that's annoying. Fuck, that's annoying. Alrighty, people. As you can see here, the camera is actually working. It is, look. You can see yourselves, it's like a vortex. Like a vortex. It is working, it's working fine. I'm gonna go and install it downstairs and see if it still works fine. We'll be right back and see if that works. All right, as you see, I put it up in the living room there and uh, you can see Oreo looking around. Oh, you just heard me call his name. He's probably coming upstairs now. But um, it seems to be working fine seems to be doing the job so it was pretty easy to install all I did was use the WPS button on the back and the WS, WPS button on my router it locked on it joined up I installed the software which made me set up a mydlink.com sound uh, account and I installed the app on my phone as well so I can view this anywhere I am to see what's going on in my living room really wish I would have bought more of these cameras because that could have been awesome but there you go people it works so now I'll be able to keep an eye on Oreo when he's downstairs and I'm upstairs and things and uh, see what the hell the little bastards doing alright guys well anyway I'm gonna call her quits for now so uh, hopefully you enjoyed the video and until next time peace the frig out